see you very soon. Uh, Madam Chair, I, I objected to the motion and may I explain why? We will um, take that up after we respond to the Honorable Margoleta. Thank you, Madam but Chair. Yes, we note that uh, you made an objection, but your mic was off. So, um, the Honorable Margoleta, please repeat your inquiry. Yes, uh, in, in connection to the earlier parliamentary inquiry, Madam Chair, I have already related the value of tradition. Parliamentary procedures, Madam Chair, grow from or are enriched by traditions, experiences, and precedents collectively gathered by the House of Representatives over years, and the institution keeps them well. That is why, from my entry in 2004 or the 13th Congress until today, I have observed the observance of that well-kept tradition. The two highest positions in government, namely the office of the president and the office of the vice president, were duly accorded with respect and deference. I have observed that. That's why I have relayed to you earlier, in 2022, the Honorable Libanon, invoking courtesy, took him only 13 minutes to dispose the office of the vice president. And that was quickly moved, quickly seconded by no less than our majority leader. That was in 2022. I'm not going by record, Madam Chair. 2023, I said, no less than the presidential son, our own senior deputy majority leader stood up and said, that in line with the time-honored tradition of according courtesy to the office of the vice president, I move to terminate the budget briefing of the OBP. And I can recall the Honorable Castro strongly objected. No, Manuel. No, 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 that's in 2023. This is by the record. And she objected, but her objections were rejected by the committee because the committee already terminated the proceedings. And she kept on requesting, Madam Chair, that she makes at least her manifestation. And she was unable to do that because the proceedings were terminated. So that what I am saying from 2004, when I entered these halls, these hallowed halls, ang gampundo sa sinasabi kong 2023, we have kept the tradition. Ngayon po, kung ano-ano nang mga tanong ang ginawa. In 2023, 22, 22 minutes. 2022, 13 minutes. Ito po, pinagawa yan na po yung budget earlier. At ngayon, we are about to quarrel again on the budget. Ang tanong ko nga po ngayon, dahil nga po sa nangyayari ngayon sa budget ng Office of the Vice President, and despite her manifestation that she will no longer defend her budget because she for she for gold or she for go uh, sabi niya, I will forgo my opportunity to defend the budget of the OBP for 2025 by way of question and answer and I will leave to the House of Representatives to decide such proposal as presented. We cannot even accept such kind of answer, Madam Chair. What do we need her to articulate for? So ang pinag-uusapan po natin, wala na po ba yung respeto sa tradisyon na yun? Kagaya po ng binabanggit ko, every time mag interpolate po dito, Madam Chair, because of that tradition, it's always the member of the minority who will start the interpolation because we have kept that tradition. Ang dami po. Ang dami ko pang sasabihin sa inyo, mahaba lang tayo. So the question is, when we did that to the Vice President earlier, now we're doing it now, are we now setting aside this tradition? That's number one question. Number two, is this committee authorized to set aside the tradition? Your Honor, short answer is no to both questions. 
Okay. If that is the answer, Madam Chair, and we are all bound to respect one tradition so sacred in our hearts, because we are called honorables in this, in this house. We cannot be honorables if we cannot honor our own tradition. We are defined by what we believe as a tradition in this house. So if we are now all amenable that we have kept that tradition, no longer questions are being asked, then I will respectfully move, Madam Chair, to move to terminate the budget of the OBP for 2025. I object, Madam Thank Chair. Thank you. I object. <laughs> Madam Chair, if there is a motion to terminate the budget briefing of the OVP, but there is an objection, so we divide the House. The Chair has decided to divide the House. So those uh, Madam Chair, in favor as a, of the motion, as a rule, we usually deliberate those, before we those vote. Those in favor we of the motion, please raise your hand. Those in favor of the motion to terminate the budget briefing of the OVP, please raise your hand. Those who are not in favor of terminating, raise your hand. For non tradition. <laughs> Three in favor, 45 against. Three in favor, 45 against. Motion is lost. The motion is lost. Is lost. 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 I, I, Madam Chair, I thought we have kept the tradition. The tradition is no longer ask any question. That was the tradition. So why are you voting against it? the motion? Next. The majority of the it, win it's, is it's, always respect. It's inconsistent the with the tradition that we have already agreed yeah. to observe. So we will yes, proceed Madam Chair, to uh, the next. You mentioned earlier that we will keep up the tradition. You said no. Earlier, no, we voted against. I remind the members to please wait to be recognized before speaking. So the chair now recognizes the Madam budget chair. sponsor, the Honorable Zia Adyong, to give a recap of what transpired in the last hearing. Madam Chair. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, before Madam Chair, um, we proceed with uh, Vice Chair Adjo, can yes, I explain um, my vote, Ms. Madam Chair? Paduano? Can I explain my vote? Why I voted against the motion of the Honorable Marcoleta? Just a short lang. You have one minute. Thank you, Po. Uh, Madam Chair, tama po, during the previous hearing, wala pong nag -move to terminate the budget. That's number one po of the UBP. Number two po, the demand of the, the, the the answers being given by the Vice President during the time. Uh, personally, it does not satisfy this representation. Thirdly, Mr. Madam Chair, the, the courtesy, courtesy being given to the Office of the Vice President is afforded if she is present in today's hearing. How can you give that courtesy when fuck is absent in today's hearing, Madam Chair? I might change my, my vote for that, but... Uh, was, the the, was the president of the Philippines present? Please. Please I am wait about to be, to be recognized. recognized, Madam Chair. Please wait Thank to you. be recognized. But Please proceed, Kong Paduano. You are not yet seconds. recognized, Marcoleta. Madam, Madam Chair, maybe I will change my vote if the verb of, of, of the... Or of the for the motion Marcoleta if the vice president is present in today's hearing. But he's absent. How can I personally vote for that? Because he's not present in today's hearing, Madam Chair. And that courtesy should be given to those head of office that should be present during the budget deliberation, Madam Chairman. Thank you. So, Kong uh, Zia, you are now recognized. The floor is yours. Thank you, Madam Chair. Um, Majority Leader, Representative Manix Dalipe, uh, committee chair uh, Saldico, 
members, honorable members of this committee, Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Um, good morning po sa ating lahat and welcome to the continuation of the budget briefing of the proposed 2025 budget for the office of the Vice President. Madam Chair, in the previous hearing for fiscal year 2025, the office of the Vice President proposed a budget of 2 billion 37 million 305. As of the most recent report, the OVP has an obligation rate of 39.9% for 2024. During the last budget briefing, several topics were propounded that the committee sought to be clarified upon. First, members of the committee asked the Office of the Vice President regarding the notice of disallowance issued by COA for the confidential funds released in 2022 indicated that 73 million pesos or 58.6% of total was not utilized in compliance with Joint Memorandum Circular 2015-01 of COA, DBM, DILG, GCG, and DND. The Commission on, uh, on uh, Audit has ordered the disallowed amount to be returned. Second, several members of the committee examined the grounds for the disallowance. The COA report stated that this was due to non-compliance with guidelines and the non-submission of supporting evidence or documents. Third, it was noted that it was noted by members of the committee that the 125 million pesos confidential fund for the fiscal year 2022 was utilized from December 1 to December 31 of, of the same year in 2022. A common comment by members, Madam Chair, was, was that this short period of time within which a huge amount of funds is, is spent raised further clarificatory questions on the validity of the spending. Fourth, members of the committee raised that there were supposed duplications between the Office of the Vice President's Medical and Burial Assistance, assistance Programs and those provided by the DOH and the SWD. Clarifications were sought on